impactful ha- has it been in the industry for the rise of independent media over the last 10 years or whatever from your perspective? Have you seen it have any impact on the industry yet? Or do you think that we're yeah, still going sure. to see that have more of an impact? What do you think? Like we used to be very focused on uh, web media and print media, right? So this is where the dollars went. You'd buy basically magazine takeovers or you'd buy ban- uh, banner ads or you'd buy site takeovers where they theme the whole front page. And then every time a reporter wanted to do an interview, you you sort of jumped. Even at Blizzard, it's like, okay, we, we take this very seriously. Uh, now, uh, you don't really care. If, if, if a gaming reporter is giving you gruff, I mean, Nintendo will cut you off, right? So it didn't used to be that way. The power play was a little more even back back then but as stuff shifted to twitch and shifted to youtube and uh by the way i was probably the first exec that noticed that change happening you know back in the firefall days and and i know this because i would be hiring marketing directors and i went through one after the other uh these were top top people e you know ea top people activision top people and All they understood was banner ads. The problem with marketing departments is that they only know the current thing and they have a budget and they got to spend all that budget. And if they don't spend all that budget, they lose money. Their budget is cut next year. And so all they want to do is do banner ads. I said, no, we have to start a studio called Stage 5 and we've got to start doing YouTube videos and we're going to be the sponsor of all of our content. We're going to go on Twitch. We're going to integrate Twitch. We were one of the first games to integrate Twitch directly into our game. And we got tremendous metrics from that. But the marketing department, I had a tremendous battle with them because even though we were show we had 10 times as much traction, even back then with YouTube and Twitch, they, they couldn't see it. And this was a big problem. So, uh, of course, as soon as, you know, that took off, and it became common wisdom that you need to go to YouTube, that you need to go to, to Twitch. You know, they all hopped on board at that point. But it completely changed. But, you know, there's going to be another big thing. And these people are still going to be stuck on whatever the meta is at the current time. Yeah, it's a, it's a marketing meta. That's what I'll call it. Yep. Very well said. 